Uh, right. Why did I come to Firelink? Oh! Uh, I'm just... also at Firelink, so I'm gonna go grab... I'm yeah. gonna upgrade my weapon while I'm waiting for you to finish. I just came to Firelink because I realised I was being a complete dumb and, uh... I was using I was I was not using the little shortcut. I might as well upgrade my armor on yeah. Anyway, um yeah. Yeah. We did we mention Gwyn earlier? We didn't. Well we, I think we briefly spoke about it. This may have been during the now lost problem. time section. No, we were talking about how we can can and can't parry him. Oh yeah. But um, I was just thinking, like, a lot of people say that Gwyn is a weirdly easy boss, and I wonder if that might be like a pinwheel moment, you know? Because pinwheel is so pathetically easy, it must have been intentional, surely. There's no way that was deliberate. <laughs> just... uh, I'm pretty sure pinwheel's on purpose. Hmm. I mean, like, I guess it kind of makes sense in the lore, because he's that's... just like... That's what I'm saying, is like... Um... I, th I think it must be a, th a deliberate thing. I mean, Gwyn is like a bit like Artorius, where he's like a ho like a, just a shell of a person, right? Yeah, he, even, he, he so... even appears to be hollow, though he may not technically be hollow because he yeah. seems to be something other than human, obviously. But, uh, all these sorts of weird debates. Like, like in Dark Souls, I've given up trying to make sense of by what logic characters are bigger and smaller than each other. There, there seems to be no pattern. <laughs> There seemed to be some kind of thing about power and souls going on, but then you get people like Kieran, who would logically be a powerful creature, and she's not human, so what the hell is she? Because she's human-sized. But then you have, like, Artorius, yeah. uh, Small Gornstein. That raises all sorts of questions, if Kieran and Artorius were shacking up. Uh, uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've seen some worry. things, man. <laughs> So Google, though, um, or even, I suppose, even if they weren't shacking up, if Kieran was intending to do it. It's weird talking about someone called Kieran, who isn't me. Mm. Which is just another wonderful thing. That's like, I think this is the only game I've ever seen my name in, and also it's spelled the way my name is spelled. It is a girl, but close enough. <laughs> um, that's just another sign that we were meant to be, me and Dark Souls. I'm at Capra! I've got the magic weapon this time! Not that it'll make a huge difference. Excuse my squeaky chair. Oh! Okay, oh Christ. Oh, for a f bad start, but I recovered, okay. Because I wanted to get my souls, and I was just kind of focusing on that, and kind of got pinned. Oh, oh and I fell down. Yeah, this is going much worse than last time. <laughs> uh. Killing the dog is definitely the priority once you're safe. Mm. But who's next? We want to go into the depths to get the ember I, and the pyromancer. Yeah, I guess we it is the depths next, unless we go do moonlight butterfly. Oh yeah, well I'd I'd go a little way into the depths just to get the pyromancer and the guy, but we could probably do moonlight. Yeah, it's almost an optional boss. I mean, unless well, you want to get a divine weapon. Uh. It's, and it's, therefore it's, chaos. When I'm doing like a run, which is meant to be like a challenge, I want to be all the main. I want to be all the bosses, you know, because then I can say I beat the game. And on this, you know, when I did my no summon run, I didn't just stop beat doing certain bosses. Oh, no, uh, butterfly is not too difficult anyway. No, it's just dodging the uh, the magics. True. Yeah, I'm doing considerably worse than I did last time. I think uh, cockiness. I could go make a run to get the elite knight set. Would Would you really want that? Oh, mm, the leggings are almost worth it. Well, until I get Havel's ring, it'll just be so heavy. Plunging attack. I'm so confused how much health he even has. <laughs> I'm not clear, um... Does the plunging attack work like how I think it works, where it does more damage if you fall further? I think I think it seems to, because if you just... You can kind of do that little exploity plunge, where if you just fall a tiny distance, you can sometimes still do the attack. Oh uh, yeah, you and it doesn't crazy seem, damage. It doesn't seem to do as much damage as, like, a really big one. Or am I going crazy? 
You can also, there's also like a double um, plunge attack you can do. What, what's this? Um, oh, Cap is dead. Like a, there's like an exploit where you can get two hits out of a single plunge attack, but I don't know how to do it, so... I've never really heard of this. Um, oh well. well, yep, Cap is dead and I've shrugged, so everything's fine in the world. Yeah, other than... I don't know. Yeah. It's depths then, I guess. Yeah. We can try and vein to summon each other. I may need a toilet break oh, for a second because I'm oh, a horrible fine. person. Fine, I will entertain the masses. Excuse me. Uh, and I'm then going to go to Firelink and go to the depths through that shortcut. Yep. So, ta -ta. so how are you doing today, viewer? Oh, that's great. How are the kids? Oh, oh, Jimmy got his Xbox for Christmas. Oh, that's nice. Oh, shame about your aunt Deborah though. No, oh, she hasn't been well for a while, has she? No. Ever since she uh, fell down the stairs and uh, landed on the radiator, it's just been downhill from there. So, you know, it's, it wasn't un un unexpected, was it? No, I suppose. Like, it kind of lessens the blow somewhat when uh, when it uh, just happens after a while. I mean, I'm not saying it's, it's a happy occasion, but at least it's not like your 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 uncle who fell into a wood chipper. You know, that was unexpected and horrible. But at least slowly dying of injuries is at least you, you kind of there's a buffer there. Are you back? Hello? No. No. Hello? No. You're making noises, making me think you're back, but you're not back. So stop doing that. How how mu how much do we hate Dean, ladies and gentlemen, watching? Let's talk about how much we hate Dean, how much he sucks. Play on a toilet break. I'm professional, I say. I will congratulate anyone still watching or, I suppose, listening to this. It's more of a podcast at this point. <coughs> Hello. You're actually back now, are you? You don't have your headset on yet. Hello. Hello. Hello, there you are. <laughs> Ah, uh, yes, I've just been uh, kind of one-manning one the depth so far. Did an impressive job of keeping the conversation going without you being here. Wow. Thanks. <laughs> I'm basically not needed anymore. Nope. Oh, a dog that doesn't die in one hit. That's surprising. Oh, God. I, su I would suggest going to the top of the depths again. Near the entrance for summoning reasons. Oh right, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, are you also go get oh, the God. second bonfire. There's a huge skip you can do with the depths. Are you human? Mhm. Mm okay, I'm glad because otherwise one of us would have to go do that. But I'm I'm at fire link anyway, so it wouldn't oh. either way. Wait. So whatever. Ah. God damn it, dude. Yeah, I mean we could. You can do that huge skip where you don't even fight the. I think it's a matter of principle, Dean. I was talking more about getting the skip after the rat and then heading back up to open the bonfire room. It's normally worth doing. I'm not sure if you know what that one is. I'm not sure from your description, no, but I know there's shortcuts. Yes, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Right, let's just get <sighs> here. Don't fall off and die. Oh! Just tell me when you're near the depths, I'll keep punching things until you get here. Well, I underestimated the knockback ability of the guy standing on the viaduct. Yep. <laughs> yep, that happens. This is what I mean about Dark Souls. You just assume, oh, these guys, I'm way, uh, way more competent than them. I know how to beat them, and then they murder you. And you learn a valuable lesson, which you'll forget later. Hmm. I think what's going to happen is I've, I've pretty much almost soloed this little bit of the depths I definitely wanted to do to get the Pyromancer anyway. So definitely summon me first. No, you you summon me. Yes, you summon me. Yes. Wait. Yes, I summon you first <laughs> and then we go into your game. Okay, I got uh, this. <laughs> the, I'm uh, competent. Yes. 
<laughs> I'm just. What do you call the bag bag headed people? The, the, the butchers. One of them's just I kind think of. Butchers. One of them's just walking into the chest over there, trying to get to me. Um. Yes, come on. I'm over here. Oh no, wrong, wrong magic equipped. There we go. You're really gonna stand? Okay, she's standing there while I just fill her with fireballs. See you while I turn human. Dark Souls, it's, it's really difficult. Look how difficult this incredibly tough enemy is. Oh god. Oh, I think she's finally kind of got out of that. There you go. I'm just gonna backstab you. Oh, okay, okay. I did get cocky there. Oh, you're so nearly dead though. That's when, that's when you try and get that one more hit in though, and that's when you die. No, that's <laughs> when she dies, because she sucks. You're rambling quite a lot. Yep, yep. It's filling dead air. I got That'll the happen. I got the large ember. I always forget where that is. It's behind the first butcher in the chest. Oh yeah, I remember. So if you, there's also a little doorway you can smash through. <laughs> yes. Behind them with a giant <laughs> rat. Wait, what? Behind the chest, slightly to the right of it. Oh, is, is that a doorway? Is that the shortcut? That is a shortcut, yeah. Oh god, can you survive that? Um, yeah. There's okay, a big I, rat at the bottom. I think I remember falling down there once and just instantly dying and I've never gone down. Oh my god, oh my god, the the butcher's corpse is hysterically glitched into my shield and I was like dancing around with it for a second. Oh. It not. Right. <laughs> I'm heading to the depths now, I'm not gonna die. Yeah. Yeah, um... Are you actually where would you want? Are you are you ready for to summon me or attempt to summon me or whatever? I will be there very shortly. Well, I'll head on I'm up. I'm trying then. to sprint through the giant corridor, so. Oh yeah. There we go. Just heading down the stairs now. Yeah, of course. There's no damn guarantee this will even work, but let's have a fun conversation while we wait. So, Dark Souls. Dark Souls, motherfucker. Why do people love it so much? Because it provides something that so few big games provide these days, you know. Mm. It does not hold your hand. In fact, in some places I think it's overly cryptic. Uh, okay, I'm in the depths now, so put your sign down whenever. Yeah, at the at the top of that extra set of stairs. Yeah, uh, yes. Which is this? Sorry? Okay, you know, you, you unlock the door and you go down those stairs and then I'll put yeah. it in that area there with all the boxes you can smash. Cool. It's actually at the top of the next set of stairs. Okie dokie. But you know what I mean, Dark Souls, it's just... There's, n there's very little, especially if you compare it to Demon Souls. Demon Souls does all the revolutionary stuff like the crazy death system with the bloodstains. Mm. Dark Souls is basically refined Demon Souls, but even before that, you know, the basic just the blocking attacks, hitting when they're open, all of that is old, old gaming stuff. And it's not like you do crazy combos or anything, you just, it's about timing and stuff. There's nothing in the core of Dark Souls which is particularly revolutionary. Mm. It's just put together so well, and uh, doesn't hold your hand, and gives you some freedom to figure things out at your own pace and, and and even the fact that some people find some bosses hard and other people find them easy that just, that's just that's uh, there's a variety in the experience there that most games don't offer um still can't see your sign yeah i'm beginning to worry this is going to be a recurring theme you may need to quit and come back in We'll try this, and if it doesn't work, we'll just keep soloing for a bit, because whatever, I don't care. <laughs> no, oh no, you're going to see my my no shield run, don't look at that. Don't look at that. <laughs> when you say quit, yeah, you didn't mean quit the entire goddamn game, did you? Uh, well, yeah. <laughs> oh, I'd have to stop the recording, Dean. Oh. Ugh, don't care enough, I'll put my sign down. I quit to the menu and came back. I just thought that'd done it. Yeah, you know, it's it's not it's at the top of the stairs, you know. It's not at the end with the banister, it's at the other end. Yeah. 
I don't know, all this stuff about waiting around is depressing me. No. <sighs> Well, I can I had kind of hoped it might just be the undead bug that was having this. Yes, it would appear that it's something greater than that. I guess the the only thing I can suggest really is just quitting out completely and coming back in. <sighs> Seems to work for me and my friends when we play normally. Really? Okay. When you put it that way, fine. Brb, ladies and gentlemen. I think the the butcher may have smashed the chest with the flame in it. Is that possible? Yes. Really? Yeah, you can smash chests. I'd heard that was a thing in Dark Souls 2. Which I didn't like the sound. You mean like you just can't get the ember now? I'm pretty sure I can't. I might be lucky. I, I that sounds might like not have smashed it, but like he was extraordinarily close to it. So. That sounds like an incredibly terrible feature, which I've never heard of. Uh, this isn't like some PC bug, then that might mm. be explain it. Don't think so. Because like in yeah. Adol Londo with the giants and those chests, I've never had them get smashed even though I'm running around the chests. Uh. Oh god. He just hit me pretty hard. Yes, anyway, dear viewers, um, I think we're giving up on the goddamn uh, connectivity for a while. This is just going to be like... It's still like hardcore crap, and we're still talking about Dark Souls. If so. anything, it's more hardcore, because yeah. we're not helping each other. Yeah, yeah. Let's justify it that way. <laughs> uh, it's, and we're still playing that great game of who will accidentally level up their character first. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I've, uh, I got the pyromancer. How did this guy get captured exactly? He can shoot fire. Yeah, he's not very good. Or maybe he got captured on purpose because he's into that sort of thing. <laughs> you just saw those like big mask wielding ladies. They just had to get in, the, in on that. How could you resist? Now I'm having. Oh god, I forgot about the other butcher that nearly just landed on my head. Uh, oh, we should be sack bros. <laughs> we should. Clearly. I agree with you. Um, yeah, but I'm having a bit of a conundrum now because I kind of want to go back to Firelink to uh, start using his pyromancies. Yeah, I need to go save him still. I'm going to do that now, I think. Oh, just die. There we go. Yeah, I'm already noticing my uh, weapons aren't doing as much. Oh god, yeah! I, sh I need to go to the blacksmith! Oh! Well, actually, no. I don't have any large type. Never mind! <laughs> uh, I'll go back to him when I found some large type now. Although, actually, no! Wait, I can't. You need to ascend the weapon first, don't you? Yeah, so you need the ember and then you need the last time. So yeah, yeah, I'll give, and I, I know I need, to, I need to give him the ember and I need to ascend. Need, he needs to do the first upgrade, doesn't he? And then I can upgrade it myself if I've got his, uh, if I've got the uh, upgradey thing. Yes. So Dean, we are we are going down to Blight Town. You like the sound of that? Uh, no. <laughs> right. Okay. So I've got Laurentius. He's done. Oh. Um. We kind of. Do you even need to do Gaping Dragon? You don't need to, but it's, I think it's a matter of pride. It's so easy, though. Eat well, it will just become a grind, probably. Which is kind of why I want to upgrade my weapon as soon as possible, but until I get some large Titanite. I can't buy it from anyone at this point, can I? Mm, no. No, I know of. Unless you grind all the way to Anilondo. Gonna grind all night long, baby. Can you imagine trying to get through? Uh, I don't know. I'm just trying to envision some of these bosses, and I think one of the I think the fire the firebomb guy near Firelink just threw one of his bombs straight up, so it came straight down. <laughs> How strange. Uh, 
Oh, no. I'm incredibly tempted to go get this shortcut. Is this is go this past the... the rat? I'm actually suddenly tempted to try and get the uh, new Londo extra mm. thing, uh, Firekeeper Cell. Could prove interesting. It wouldn't be that hard. Like, it's right near the beginning of New Londo, you just need to use one uh, curse thing. Or you oh. could just sprint through, I guess. Well, that too. Wow. Th th there are ghosts directly in the way of the Firekeeper Soul. Oh, no, yeah, you just sprint past those, because they come up and try and knock you off into the water if you I, wait I too really, long. I'm really not worried about them killing me, they're not very hard. <laughs> I just tend to uh, play it safe, run through, and use a homeward bone on the other side. Yeah, that's good too. Put it down again, pick it up again, no one ever sees my sign. <laughs>